Hi there. In this video I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 Pro from a bootable USB device on this Lenovo IdeaPad 3 gaming laptop. So obviously next I will show you how to create the bootable uh, device itself. Now that you have created it Plug it into a USB port on your laptop. Then power it on while pressing F12. So F12 you need to continue pressing. And it has brought us to this uh, boot menu. From here, uh, let's see which one of them I think this EFI generic flash disk this is what we want or this one USB HDD but let's try from this one and in theory Windows 10 should uh, be loading and we should see that small wheel spinning right there somewhere but my USB drive is extremely slow so this is not going to be a fast process for me it's a USB 2.0 uh, drive. We are installing Windows 10 now. Let's do a bunch of settings. Where is US? I want US, not I pressed. I pressed on something wrong. Help, help, get me out of this. I need to go to United States. Where is United States standard? Ah, come on, not Turkish. Ah, United States International install now. Yes, I will do a full fresh install, wipe out, out everything. I don't keep anything on the on the laptop at this point. And here, if you have a key, you enter it. If not, simply click on I don't have a product key and you can use Windows without product key. It will work, it will just not allow you to change your wallpaper or uh, put my computer as a shortcut on the desktop. Uh, actually not as a shortcut, as whatever it puts it uh, by default because you can create a shortcut of my computer on the desktop. So, yeah, anyway. So for me now I will simply click on I don't have a product key because I'm too lazy to enter it and I will enter it later in Windows. Installing Windows 10 Pro here. But again, if you have the product key, just enter it there and be done with it. But for me, I had uh, already installed Windows uh, on this thing. Accept the license key, install Windows only. On what partition? Uh, this partition, so I'm going to give it a format. Yes, I only have one big partition on this uh, laptop. So I gave it a format and now click next. And it's copying the files and installing. Again, so for me, I already had uh, Windows installed on this and activated. So in theory, it will activate by itself. I, I shouldn't need to enter the product key. In case I need to, I will enter it directly in Windows. I will show you how to do that if you need to also. But if you have it, enter it in the setup. It's easier. Okay, palm tree is correct. Click on yes. <laughs> Windows 11 does a bad thing right here. Ah. Oh. Hey, but I, I told you my, my keyboard layout. Windows 11 also forgets this and I was hoping Windows 10 doesn't. No, Windows 10 also forgets it. So skip no other keyboard layouts. Wait a moment. Yes, I will connect to my Wi-Fi. Connect it to Wi-Fi and just click on next. It will do its thing for a while. Okay, next setup for personal use and hit next. And I, I must say, this is really similar to Windows 11 installed at this point in time. Okay, offline account. I don't want an online account on this laptop. 
and I somehow wish they have made all of this AI yeah, limited experience, whatever, still offline. They made all of uh, the settings at the start of Windows and then you let it do. <coughs> Bless you, my little daughter. Then it will just install by itself after you've done all the settings at the start. Not like this, they ask you that, ask you that, wait a bit, then ask you that. Anyway. Let's give it a username and no password for the moment and wait for it to do whatever it's still doing and here a bunch of no's as everybody does it for Microsoft. I'm not going to swim against the tide. <laughs> yeah, am I right? A little door, daughter helping me. Don't press it, don't press it, don't press it. Anyway, be back in a moment. And yeah, it's doing the final things. If my camera would focus, eh, doesn't want to. Ta -da. And it's on. And let's see, but I'm expecting it to kind of find its, uh, its drivers by itself. But for the moment, still doing stuff, it will not let me click on anything. As you can see, it's kind of busy. So we'll be back in a second. Okay, so settings. Let's see. In update and security, if we will see any drivers uh, right here. Check for updates and in theory, we should see some drivers at least that's what uh, we see in Windows 10 after we install it. We, Windows 10 in Windows 11 after we install it, we see it listing the drivers that it is going to to download and install by itself. Not sure if Windows 10 lists them like that or not. But I will wait for it to search. That's still doing something. So Windows 11 is incredibly fast at this compared to Windows 10 that I really like so let's use the old style of search automatically it's already installed so let's force it to check for updates like this and let's see for the other ones right click update driver search automatically what are you talking about those are not good drivers yeah, I think they are uh, starting, yeah, this is not how this thing uh, used to work. It would take a bit of time and it would actually search online. I think they are n starting to nuke a little bit uh, Windows 10 to make people go to, to Windows 11. This update driver is broken as I can see here. It was searching way more, 5-10 minutes for at least the driver and most time it was actually finding them. And it actually did find them, AMD, Realtek, something uh, for system for Lenovo, Nvidia. And it will download and install them and presumably we'll have this everything installed when it finishes. It was just much slower than Windows 11 does the same thing. Da -da -da -da. Windows 10 is activated, so it activated by itself. Although I had Windows 11 on this thing also. It seems you can switch between Windows 10 and 11 with the same license key and it will activate by itself. It, it just doesn't care, which is awesome. And all drivers got installed automatically. And I think it's still doing updates to some of them in the background because Windows might have a driver that it installs by default. But then it still searches for a better better driver or newer driver to install it, which I think is the best way to go. So yeah, this is how you install Windows uh, 10 on this particular laptop and it will find all the drivers by itself and you don't need to do absolutely anything. So that's about it. Hope this video helps you, in which case please give it a like. Check out my other videos and as always, see you in the next one. Bye.